For most of us, we're several weeks into working from home and staying home as much as possible. It's enough to make any of us a little stir crazy. LEX 18's Claire Kopsky spoke to a senior at Eastern Kentucky University who's using her spare time to make a difference. 21 year old Ashley Lawrence is learning a new skill. You, you want the, the needle to go like in here. And my mom really likes to craft and she's really good at just picking stuff up and just doing it. So I came down one morning and I was like, what if we made a mask? But these aren't just any masks. They're for the deaf and hard of hearing. People who are um, profoundly deaf who use ASL as their primary mode of communication. ASL is very big on facial expressions and it, it is that's part of the grammar. So um, I don't know if you have seen Virginia Moore on <laughs> Andy Bashir's things at five o'clock, but she's very emotive. And if half of that is gone because you're wearing a mask, then half of what you're saying is being missed. So even if it's not physically talking, just using ASL, then you need to have that kind of access. Ashley is studying education for the deaf and hard of hearing. So this is a bit of a passion project. I felt like there was a huge population that was being looked over because they were were all panicking right now. And so a lot of people are just not being thought of. Mm -hmm. So I felt like that was very important that even in a time like this, people need to have that communication. Communication that she's allowing to happen with the help of bed sheets, plastic fabric, elastic, and a bit of creativity. And we're trying different things too for people with cochlear implants and hearing aids. If they can't wrap around the ears, we're making some that have around the head and around the neck too. In less than two days, she already has dozens of orders from six states. She's doing this project for free because she believes now is the time to help one another. The biggest thing during this time is if you're fine, if you're at home and you're not working, do something for someone else that will make you feel good and help someone out in the community. Help each other see the power of a smile. In Woodford County, Claire Kopsky, LEX 18 News.